Hi, North Hills family. My name is Mrs. Witt. I'm one of the lay leaders for worship at St. John's Lutheran Church in downtown Salisbury. My son, Balian, is a third grade student along with you all at North Hills in Mrs. Wilson's class. Today, I'm really excited to be with you to talk with you for just a few minutes about something that is so important, and that is being strong and staying strong for God. I want you all to take just a minute and do me a big favor. Can you show me your muscles? Show me how strong you are. Go ahead, go ahead and make your most mm, muscular arms and show them off. Wow, I'm not super strong and I know that, but let me see how strong you are. Wow. Oh, look at those muscles. Oh, you guys are so super duper strong. I knew you would be. And you know why? Number one, you have great physical strength, right? You're in PE and you're keeping active even though you're at home right now. I know your moms and dads and caretakers are making sure you get lots of exercise. That's great. We're doing that at our house too. Uh, I know you're strong because you have strong minds. Our teachers and uh, principals are working so hard to make sure we get our lessons at home this week and are communicating with us to make sure that we're on the right track for keeping up with our studies. And we thank you all so much for doing that. And we are strong in spirit because God is in the center of our lives and we keep Jesus in the center of our hearts, right? So we have strong bodies, strong minds, and we are strong in spirit. Thank you, Lord. You know, while we're talking about strength and being strong, that reminds me of one of my favorite Bible stories that I'm really excited to kind of share with you all today. I'll bet it's one that you know or that you have at least heard. Let me see if I can find it here because I lost my page. Here we go. This is a, this is a story about David. And I, I think you probably know this story about David fighting a big, big giant. David fighting Goliath. I'm going to read it to you from the storybook. This is from 1 Samuel 17. The Philistine army came to fight God's people. The Philistines had a giant warrior named Goliath. Goliath was over nine feet tall. Now my dad is almost six feet tall and I think he is so super tall. Could you imagine seeing a giant who was three feet on top of six feet? That is so tall. I don't think I've ever seen anyone that tall in my life. David must have been a little afraid, don't you think, that he might not be able to stand up to such a tall giant? He wore a suit of armor and he carried a heavy spear. Every morning the giant shouted mean words and he made fun of God. God's people were really afraid. But David, a shepherd boy, said, I will fight that giant. Isn't that brave of David? David took his slingshot. Have you boys and girls ever played with a slingshot in your backyard? maybe taking a little rock and you've seen it go across the field and hit something. That's what David said he would do when he faced this giant, Goliath. David took that slingshot and he had a little pouch where he carried five stones. David shouted to Goliath. He said, you come with a sword and with a spear, but I come in the name of God. David put one stone in his slingshot. The stone hit Goliath right in the forehead, right in the middle of his forehead, and he fell like a big tree. David won. He faced the giant, and he won. God was on his side. If God is on our side, we can do great things. With God's help, David won the battle against Goliath. When we call on the Lord, he hears us. He will answer and he helps us. Right now, 
we're facing we're facing a giant that we can't even see and that's why we're not all at school or work together and that's a little scary but we don't have to be afraid because God is on our side. I'm going to teach you a little song. It's just really short that helps us to remember to be strong. Remember those muscles we showed off a few minutes ago? And we talked about being strong in body, mind, and spirit. This song talks about staying strong in the Lord, and it goes like this. You can, you can play this back and you can sing this at home with your moms and your dads or whoever else is around you to remind us to be strong and courageous. It goes like this. Be strong, be strong, be strong and very courageous. Be strong, be strong for I am always by your side. And you can sing it however you want and you can make your own motions. When I sing it with my kids, we like to sing, be strong, be strong, be strong and very courageous. Be strong, be strong for I am always by your side. God's always by our sides. And when he's with us, we never have to worry about fear or anything else because we know that he is good and that he is faithful to his promises and that he will always be with us to love and protect us. And in turn, what can we do? We can worship him, we can pray, we can sing to him, and we can serve our community by loving the people around us, even if we can't be with them in person right now. And this is just a reminder to all of you that God loves you so very, very much. And this won't be something that lasts forever. We'll all be together again soon. But you know what? When we're gathered in the name of the Lord, whether we're gathered together in, in person, when we speak his name and we do that together, we're gathered together anyway in his love right so let's remember that keep on praying for each other keep on loving on each other keep on thanking your teachers and your parents and thank you guys for keeping the faith and doing the best that you can god is definitely proud of you for all of the wonderful work that you are doing and keep that faith up be strong be courageous god is on your side today and always and for now, I have to say, until next time, so long, I'll see you later. Let me see your alligator. Can you make an alligator and say goodbye? Goodbye, I'll see you later. Let me see your alligator. Don't forget to pray to God and don't forget to love each other. Don't forget that God loves you and don't forget that we love you too. We do. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.